Welcome to my quarantine fish room. Okay. So this is Philippines on uh, June 11th. Hortensia was really brave at 4 o'clock. Poppy, I'm going to be getting up. I'll help you with the fish. Come around 7.30, she's starting to try to get her way out of it. And as of 10.30, here's Tyler. <laughs> Hortensia, well, went to try to wake her up and she hit me. Kind of vicious in her uh, sleep. Anyhow, we got Tyler to run the camera and we got three boxes and happiness. So, here we go. Alright, and of course it started raining, but I haven't had to water the strawberries yet, I'm going to get a bumper crop currently. Who do you think is going to win the election? Rob Ford. No! For the province of Ontario. I don't know. Tim Hudak? Yeah. Did you see the cartoon that uh, Kathleen Wynne's guy did? No. Okay, from the movie Batman something, the Joker blew up some toy factory, and he's walking away laughing. Well, they superimposed a hospital over the toy factory, and they superimposed to Tim Hudak over the Joker. So he's blowing up a hospital as he walks away laughing. <laughs> um, even Kathleen Wynne kind of had to admit that was a little tasteless. Yeah, vote Tim Hudak, he'll blow up your hospital. Yeah, that's a little hyperbole. Okay, what do we got? Happiness and joy? Oh, we've got an There's some happiness. See, they ship them without water. Do you know why? Nope. That way they can't pollute the water. See, if you got the water and it gets polluted, they die. If you don't got water, well, it can't get polluted. So apparently you had four yellow flats, four red flats, and four assorted bubbles. And have you ever noticed that the assorted bubble never includes the really expensive pretty ones? Kind of like assorted clown gobies never include the yellow ones. Did you know anemones bite? Nope. They sting each other. They sting? Yep. That's so what? if you put all of these in a bag and you travel them long distances together, yeah. they hurt each other. A little time in the bucket, no problem. Is there a zoom button? Yep. See that? Oh. Goes in. Oh, that zooms in. Goes out. Thank you. Welcome. Okay, that's it for now, Nate. Woo! Look at how tiny those are. They're listed as red cardinals upon a up Apogon species. But they're way cuter than I was hoping for. See, oftentimes they tell you red. And you gotta use a lot of imagination to see red. And these are the least you can see red. I'm happy. red spotted hawkfish. If you see him and it looks like he doesn't know how to swim, it's because he can't. 
They have no swim bladder, so they can't float. They're either swimming or sinking. And oh yeah, they eat shrimp. Kind of bad that way. Striped cardinal. Also not what I was expecting. See, opening fish bags is like Christmas. You don't know what you're gonna get, but you know it's gonna cost you a lot of money. She got hope for the best. Really? You don't know what you're gonna get in there? Uh, when they go apple gotten species, yeah, it's pretty much a crapshoot. See, the last time we got striped cardinals, they were gold striped cardinals. They weren't these. But on the invoice, it says striped cardinals. So, you never know. And this guy is also famous for the neon goby. Yeah, it's a neo goby. One time we ended up with over 50 of them. What do you do with 50 neo gobies? A lot, a lot. Flame fin tomini tang. The orange is what the flame is. For smalls, these are pretty good. Sometimes they send them as large as. See, sometimes it's best to write down the smaller size. Because then they send you the bigger sex for the smaller price. But if you write the bigger size down, they send you these little tiny things and say, oh yeah, that's large. Give me more money. Yeah, these guys. I ordered two! Six line rasses. You know why they're called six line rasses? No way. They have six lines on them. Man, this is looking good. Man, crap. Yeah, we don't use a lot of imagination. We just pretty much name them what we think. Like, you know the Chinese elk eater? Nope. Oh. In freshwater, there's a fish called the Chinese algae. 